What's up guys? Welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't already, just hit subscribe. Um, I'm at my sister's house. This is my sister, Tara, little hey. sister, next sibling below me, but I am on her computer at her house waiting on Idaho Fishing Game website to get some non-resident Idaho tags. So I'm trying to get my hands on a general season deer tag and a general season elk tag. And I am 9,102 in line. And there is 8,506 people ahead of me. <laughs> and my estimated time to wait is more than an hour, which is very broad. So I can be here a long time on the computer trying to get some elk tags. But I recently got home from a Colorado deer hunt which uh, we have put up a vlog on the Hush channel that has some of the details of my hunt. You guys can go check that out. But when I get home, I'll show you guys my buck. I shot a decent little four point on the very last day. But I came over here to kind of show you guys this new little side hustle my sister started, which I'm super excited for her because she came to my place to help me ship antler dog chews when we were doing this for my parents to help raise money to pay for my parents' remodel. And she came over, she kind of saw the setup. I had an online business, had a website, had Shopify all set up. And we got talking and she's like, I wanna start a business, something I can do from home. And I kind of pitched her some ideas and just showed her the back end of some of the stuff I do. And it's cool because she went home and like immersed herself in the whole online business stuff and started an online business. And look, she's got shipping labels. So clearly yep, she's selling some stuff. So I wanna show you guys what she's doing. So like I said, she was at my house, we were filling orders and I was like, you know, you can make an online website and sell whatever you want. And her kids, so this is Jude. Say what's up, Jude. Say, Say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's shy. So her kids love sports. They play, um, right now they play between all of them. They play soccer. What else? Mostly soccer? Well, Jude plays hockey. So our kids play like soccer basketball. and hockey and they like basketball. Football Obviously fans. kids are football. So she started a business called uh, Silly Blankets and she sells printed blankets like this soccer ball. There's also a donut, uh, football, basketball, and baseball, right? Yeah. So actually Fine. pretty cool. We're going to open up one of the footballs and show you guys what they look like. So they come vacuum sealed, which is nice for shipping. This is a football. That Look at the print. That's actually pretty cool. I gotta get some of these done in like wildlife. Football's bigger just because it's Dang. an oval, so we have to... That's cool. So it's shaped as a football. Obviously, the basketball, the baseball, and the soccer ball are all round. Yeah, mom. I got hot for you. You, you wanted to open up a football, didn't you? The back side is just like a super soft this is fleece right yeah gosh they are soft they turned out great yeah the print is really good so anyways i'm i think it's cool because tara really ran with this she ordered um not ordered but hired some digital graphic designers on fiverr right yeah like i was telling her i was like you can hire a graphic designer on fiverr you can stop <laughs> you can start a shopify you can start an etsy she legit did everything and, and got these order of blankets and she's selling a bunch of them on Etsy. So she also has a Shopify account. Here's the plug for Silly Blankets. Use code Eric and you get 20% off um, your entire order site-wide. And she's offering free shipping on that website as well. So what is it? GetSillyBlankets.com? GetSillyBlankets.com. Yeah. Yep. It's been fun teaching her this stuff and fun that seeing that she's selling quite a few of these. So GetSillyBlankets.com. If you guys want any of these blankets, use code Eric, 20% off. Um, but I'll leave the link to her website in the description box. Thank you guys. Help out my little sister, get this <laughs> thing rolling. If you guys have kids that play sports, they'll love them. So check them out on her website. The link is in the description box. Say see you, Jude. Yeah. Say see you guys. Yeah. Say buy a blanket or two. I that. Okay, we made it to the house and uh, I'm getting ready to run some errands. Let's see. I actually headed over to Jumping Jack Trailers to pick up the Jumping Jack that our um, Hush giveaway winner won. So we gave away a truck. The one you guys saw, I, I told you guys about it a few times. We gave away a truck, um, a jumping jack trailer, and some camp gear. 
and a lucky guy from Louisiana won it, the whole package. So good for him. Uh, he shopped on our site and won himself like a $50,000 prize package. So he gets that truck and a jumping jack trailer just like mine, which I'm actually gonna move this truck, um, snag my jumping jack. It needs a little TLC, so I'm gonna take it to the guys in Salt Lake to work on it just a little bit. So I've got some stuff to move and it's always a chore to get that thing out. But let me show you this buck I got. So here it is. This, keep in mind, this is a wide angle lens. It's fun for vlogging with a wide angle lens, but it may make the buck look a little bigger. But what's cool about this deer is his antlers are so dark. I shot him in a burn and he had clearly been raking his antlers on the burnt trees. Uh, some of the trees are still alive. A lot of them are still standing, but it's so hard to describe this, how polished they are. You guys see the glare off there. They're so shiny and smooth. And like, it's funny cause they're either black or like bone white where the highlights are. So definitely unique. Unlike anything I really have in my collection, um, I might skull plate him. I might European mount him. What would you guys do? I got, I feel like I just get so many European mounts. Let me flip it around with the sunlight. That I don't have a place to hang them all. And then when you have European mounts, you move them around, you know, it always seems like you end up breaking the nose. And I don't know. What do you guys think? Mount it or skull plate it like my Axis bucks? You guys could probably influence me one way or the other. So that's the buck. Now it's time to move all the trucks to get the trailer out. The hush truck. Man, I wish this puppy was mine. <sighs> Newer model, better package. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be sad to see this thing go. I got to drive around a little bit, and this is B-Max's old truck. He's ready to let it go, he said. Moving on to the next one. Just a vehicle. Just material things, right? I'm gonna go park this over by my garage and then get my truck backed up to uh, my jumping jack. Well, we got the jumping jack trailer. I just went down to their headquarters, which conveniently for us, they are right here in Salt Lake. So family owned business. It's always fun catching up with those guys. Clearly they all hunt. So um, it's fun to go visit those guys and swap stories. They have been so slammed with building these jumping jack trailers, like literally can't build them fast enough. And they're also struggling to find um, people to hire. So if you're in Salt Lake and you guys are looking for a job, they have like, couple jobs i know they they're doing some for welding some for like general assembly stuff if you guys are looking for a job you can email them at hiring at jumpingjacktrailers.com and wow look what i did i left my garage door open which is right goes right to my house not only that there's like thousands of dollars of antlers sitting right there look at this thing brand spanking new Heck, the sticker on the tire hadn't even worn off. So yeah, the winner gets a blackout jumping jack trailer. They get the truck, Yeti stuff, Camp Chef stuff, the whole package flying in from Louisiana. We'll meet them at 9.30 and then they're bouncing out. Hey, good morning guys. So today's the day that uh, the hunt winner or the hunt camp winner is gonna come and grab his truck and trailer. And I'm off to the gym before we do so, but I wanted to share this with you, a couple things I got uh, during the Mountain Ops sale. So a few things I'm gonna try is the new Pineapple Yeti and the Backcountry Yeti. So I stocked up on those. I got myself the Green Apple again, and then I'm trying these too. So after having COVID, I'm like, all right, I'm pretty dang healthy, fit, go to the gym, try to eat clean, wild game and stuff, but I don't get a lot of greens in, in my meals, so. I'm gonna try the super greens from Mountain Ops. So that's on the menu tonight. But yeah, we're gonna go give the truck away today. And then I think I'm gonna tear into my garage. I bought these Christmas lights. Let me turn this off real quick. 
so I bought these lights to do a uh, Christmas tree. I need a little Christmas spirit here at home, but I have nothing in the living room. So I think I'm gonna tear my antler pile down and actually build a Christmas tree with my antlers out in my shop. I've done that before. People seem to love it. I enjoy it, it's kind of fun. I usually leave it up after for you know, two or three weeks, but I'm gonna do that in the next vlog. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Come back to the next vlog. We'll be out in the shop messing around. I'll show you guys some more antlers and stuff that maybe I haven't pulled out of the stack while I have it broken down. Figured you guys could use a little bit of a taste review on the backcountry. I heard it's kind of like a passion fruit. So we're gonna give it a try. And I'll let you guys know what I think. This is the first time I've tried this flavor. I have tried Ignite in the uh, Pineapple Crush. Let's try this uh, backcountry stuff. Mountain Ops and then in a Hoyt glass. I don't give a dang. You guys seen that? Pep what does he say? Like Coca-Cola in a Pepsi bottle? I don't give a dang. Google it. It does smell good. So a lot of people, they say that this tastes like passion fruit or like Pog. You know, the juice that you get out in Hawaii. So if you like Pog, I can tell you, it smells just like it. I'm actually pretty surprised. It smells just like Pog. All right. This is what I take every day it is their pre-workout Yeti. Wow. It does. It tastes like Pog. <laughs> That's so funny because Matt hit me up. He's like, dude, we got to get some of this backcountry stuff. I heard it's like passion fruit. It tastes like pog. It is. That's good. Yeah, I, I actually really like that. So I'm going to be working out with these two flavors for a while. Just trying to mix it up. But for now, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.